Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kennedy. I just moved to Austin from Seattle and this vlog is going to be my first weekend living in Austin. So right now it is like 9.30. I have a Orange Theory class at 10, so I'm about to head out and go to that. And I'm gonna do a lot of stuff this weekend, so I'm super excited. And if you're new to Austin too, or like interested in Austin, you can kind of see what it's like for someone who just moved here and is like trying to figure it all out. But yeah, I need to go to Orange Theory, so I will see you after that. Okay, I didn't bring my camera, so this clip is just on my phone. So sorry if it's bad quality, but that workout was way better. And I feel like I'm just gonna like go home, shower, and like eat lunch and stuff and I won't feel like sick. I did a 10 a.m. workout. So I think I just can't do the evening workouts anymore. That's just like honestly a struggle. But they said that they're doing a happy hour, like Orange Theory is doing a happy hour like next Friday. And I think I might go. They said it's open for just anyone. He was like, honestly, like attendance is like anywhere from like 10 people to like 30 people. And I feel like normally, like in Seattle, if Orange Theory was like having a happy hour, like I wouldn't go to that, you know? But here, since I don't know anyone, I was like, oh, I actually might go. I'll f I know I'm gonna feel awkward, but it's like you have to like put yourself out there if you wanna like meet people. Otherwise, like you're not gonna meet people. Like that's how I felt last night. I went to just like a brewery that had like a food truck and stuff to go get dinner. And I was like, oh, like I'm just like going by myself, like it would be more fun if like I went with someone it's like okay am I gonna like meet someone out or like make friends out like probably not like someone's not just gonna randomly come up to me but I'm definitely not gonna make any friends sitting in my apartment you know what I mean so I'm like have to just go so I think I'm gonna go it's next Friday so it's like a week away but I think I'm just gonna go because maybe I could like meet people I don't know it's worth a shot so i'm wearing this dress from hollister i got it the other day in my week in my life vlog if you saw that also i keep looking at myself because i'm wearing lipstick and i never wear lipstick and i don't know how i feel about it and also i like did with like eyeshadow like a little bit of eyeliner and i have never worn eyeliner before and i kind of don't like the way i look right now but it's fine um but i feel i was just staring at myself in the mirror and i was like i look weird but it's whatever. I'm just going to go walk around the domain. So the domain is like a shop. I've never been there. But it's like apparently like shopping center. They have like uh, restaurants and I think bars and stuff too. And just like a bunch of shops. I think it's like an outdoor kind of situation. But yeah, what time is that? I think it's like 3 or something. And I'm just going to go there and walk around. Maybe buy some stuff. Kind of check it out. Also, I think I want to grow my hair out long again. So I always have really long hair and i cut it short like in january so it's like grown out for like a couple months but i usually have it down to like here or something and i think i'm just gonna let it grow out because i'm not really digging the short hair i liked it when it was shorter but now like this medium length i think i don't really like I have been at the domain honestly I don't want to be negative but like I have not had a good time like I wish I could say that I did but I haven't I just feel like well one it was like very confusing like you know even if you went to like a mall you didn't know if you like walked around you could kind of like figure it out or like look at one of those maps and it'll be like you are here and you could like figure it out I was like so confused like I couldn't find um american eagle or forever 21 like i couldn't figure out where they were because like i was in nordstrom but then when you look on the map nordstrom's not on the map so i was like i don't even know where i am i was like oh my god and i'm wearing new shoes so my feet kind of hurt but that's not that big of a deal but mainly the thing that like sucks is that like i i don't like the way i look right now like my body and so it's like not fun to like try on stuff and you're like oh this doesn't look good this doesn't look good and like I was trying to get a pair of jeans and I like tried on a couple pair and I was like oh my god this sucks so then it was just like wasn't even like fun you know I mean just being honest and I mean it's like literally my own fault like that I don't feel confident right now because for the last oh it's on 
someone's alarm. For the last like three months or whatever, I haven't been working out, but I also was like miserable at work and working so much. Sorry, you can probably hear that and that's probably really annoying. The thing is though, in Seattle, when it's rainy and cold and I'm working so much and I hate my life, it's like there's no motivation to work out, to eat healthy, to whatever. Like now I'm here, I'm like living on my own. I can, I've been going to workout classes. Like this week, I went to like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, today and then I'm going tomorrow so it's gonna be five out of seven days so it's like I'm gonna get back to where I want to be but it's just like frustrating right now that I'm not there but obviously like I said it's my own fault it's Sunday now <laughs> it's like 11 I just went to Orange Theory and I just got home I didn't keep vlogging yesterday because like you can tell from the last clip I just wasn't in a good mood yeah I mean it's not like I had like an awful night like I mean I came home and I just kind of like chilled watch YouTube videos whatever like it wasn't um like I was like crying or something like I was I was fine but I wasn't in the mood to vlog if that makes sense but it's Sunday I'm getting vaccinated today how exciting my appointment is at 2 45 and I think it's like 30 minutes away I want to like shower and then maybe go walk on the lake we'll see it's just like I just don't know if I have time I mean it's 11 15 if I left here oh yeah I'll have time I think okay well I'm gonna shower because I'm sweaty but orange theory was good and that's the thing okay the thing I was upset about yesterday was like oh I'm not confident right now and whatever but it's like I'm actively making steps to like feel better you know what I mean like I'm working out I'm like putting myself out there like trying to make friends I made a bumble bff last night Ooh, that was something I did yet last night I made a bumble bff I haven't talked to anyone on it yet but I had like two matches so I have to see if they said anything or maybe I'll have to say something but yeah it's like I know I was like being kind of bummy but it's like that's just honestly like how I feel right now it's like I don't feel super confident but I'm like making steps to get there so it's like as long as you're not just like wallowing in it and throwing yourself a pity party. I mean, maybe you can wallow in it for like a day or two if you, if that will, if you think you need that. But I don't think that I need to do that. I think that I just need to keep doing what I'm doing. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm already trying to like get better. So all good things, but yeah, I'm going to shower and then yeah, I'm getting my vaccine today. My first one of two, but yeah, exciting. Okay, so I was literally on my way out the door. I grabbed the doorknob and it just like comes off. So like, and I tried to put it back on. I can't figure it out. Um, so I'm gonna have to just stay here and like text the Airbnb lady and be like, hey, the door, I don't even understand how that happened. I didn't even grab it aggressively. I literally just grabbed it and it just like came off and that sucks well I have to leave at like two o'clock anyways because of my appointment so what the frick okay so <laughs> it's been some time but basically I was like more worried about the fact that the doorknob came off because then I couldn't like leave or if I left I was like do I have to leave the door open because like I don't want to like lock myself out or like lock myself in so basically since that happened i just left the door open but the way my airbnb is so i'm basically like staying at an airbnb for two months and there's like two airbnbs on the property and they like their doors like i probably take like two steps and i'm at the other person's door like you could like very easily like have a normal conversation talking at like a normal voice like they're like really close to each other so anyways i like texted the lady about the doorknob and then she didn't reply yet and then the because there's like guys that live next door i've never i try to say hi whenever i see them but i've never like had more than like hey how's it going like that kind of conversation so anyways basically i think he heard me and so he opened the door and was like oh do you need help and then I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, like, do you have, like, a screwdriver? And then he comes out with the whole freaking toolbox, and then he screwed it back on. So, 
we're all good he was like yeah she might want to like replace this but like it was all good to go for now so thank you for joey was his name <laughs> i actually i was kind of embarrassed because i asked him his name the other day because i like try to be friendly and i saw him i was like hey how's it going and i was like oh my name's kennedy and he's like oh i'm joey and i was like okay cool and then after he did i was like thank you so much i was like what's your name and he literally told me his name like two days ago but i just forgot I, well, I knew that one of their names was Joey, but I wasn't paying attention to what their faces really looked like, honestly. But, claps for Joey. He saves the day. Yeah, and so I didn't end up having time to go to the lake, but I went to True Fusion. So, basically, it's this workout place I used to go to in Seattle. Well, in Bellevue, but that's where the studio was, was in Bellevue, which is right by Seattle. Yeah, I used to go there, and then now they have one in Austin, so I was like, oh, cool. So I went in there to, like, see about, like, renewing my membership or whatever. So that's cool, and I think I'm just going to head over to to my uh, appointment. Maybe I'll do something after my vaccine appointment, but also maybe I'll just go home and chill. We'll see. We'll see. But I want to make friends with the guys next door, honestly. I can't tell how old they are. I feel like maybe 30. But, like, I don't know. I feel like they should want to hang out with me, right? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I feel like now I have a friendship with Joey. <laughs> maybe. If I can remember his name. Just got to Walgreens. That's where I'm getting my vaccine. I'm not nervous, except now I'm like, wait, should I be nervous? I feel like the actual vaccine doesn't really hurt, does it? I'm fine with like shots normally or getting my blood drawn, I think. I got a flu shot and you literally could not feel that. But a flu shot I think is different than this. This is like more intense. I just won't look. I don't want my arm to be sore after, so I'm going to do the TikTok thing. <laughs> I don't know if that actually works, but we'll see. I'm going to make a TikTok of it at least. Okay, so I just got done. Let me show you my band-aid um yeah it didn't hurt like i i don't think shots really hurt that bad so I, but i don't know why i was getting like nervous about it because i didn't know if this one was like different but the actual shot i mean yeah there's like a pinch but the actual shot doesn't hurt but i know my arm's gonna be sore which i'm like not excited for gotta do the tiktok thing except i just went to go see the tiktok video i was gonna make because i've seen a bunch of people do it and now I can't find it. I saved it to my favorites and it says that it's like, like, you know, when you can tell that like a video got deleted or something, it like, yeah, it's not there anymore. And I don't remember what the sound was called. So who knows if I'll actually make that TikTok or not, but yeah. And then I just come back in three weeks for my second one. Cool, right? I don't know. <laughs> 